Kung si Sedya ang original na autor ng Breastfeeding Act, si Senator Pia naman ang autor na Expanded Breastfeeding Act o Rooming In Act na naisa batas noong 2010. Iniaatas dito ang agarang pagtatabi ng bagong silang nasanggol at ng kanyang ina upang agad din itong mapasuso. But it wasn't just education. In the area of maternal and infant health, one of the first bills I sponsored when I was new was my expanded breastfeeding act. He approached me when I was defending it and gave me his input. Interestingly, he was the author of the first bill promote, promoting breastfeeding, the Rooming In Act. Later, I took on the fight to protect various national heritage sites, including the Rizal Monument. The basis was his law. The National Heritage Law. Isa sa mga pamosong batas ng kalusugan ni Senator Ed ang pagtatatag ng Philippine Health Insurance Corporation o PhilHealth noong 1995 kung saan naglalayo nitong magbigay ng pangkalahatang health insurance sa bawat Pilipino. At gaya ng kanyang mga adhikain sa paglikha ng PhilHealth, isinapatas naman ang Universal Healthcare Law o ang RA 11223 noong taong 2019. Mas pinalawak nito ang mga benepisyo ng PhilHealth at otomatikong lahat ng Pilipino ay sakop ng PhilHealth benefits alinsunod na rin sa mga naging layunin ni Senator Angara sa pagtatatag sa nasabing institusyon. For health and nutrition, we've increased the budget of the Department of Health to support the agency's drive to protect our children through vaccination, to prevent the spread of disease, and to nurture healthier Filipino. Mr. President, we've also increased the appropriation for the PhilHealth for the implementation of the Universal Health Care Law. Ang pagtatatag ng Philippine Genome Center o PGC sa University of the Philippines, Diliman, ay isa rin sa mga programang pinangunahan ni Senator Ed bilang chairman ng Congressional Commission on Science, Technology and Engineering o COMSTE. Siya ang nagtulak sa pagpapalakas nito at naging masigasig sa naaangkop na pagpupunto. Liban dito, nagbibigay din sila ng DNA sequencing services, stem cell research at paggamot sa iba't ibang karamdaman. Sa panahon ng pandemya, naging aktibo rin ito gamit ang makabagong teknolohiya na epektibo para sa deteksyon ng COVID-19. Dalawang taon matapos ang kanyang pagpanaw ng 2018, nauso ang remote medical consultation o ang pagpapakonsulta sa doktor gamit ang internet matapos ipagbawal ang face-to-face -face communications. Tong 2010 bilang chairman ng Comste, isinulong ni Senator Angara ang tinawag niyang telehealth. At sa kasagsagan nga ng pandemya, sa ganitong paraan, nahalinhan ang physical visits ng mga pasyente sa kanika nilang doktor. Proven to be successful in the United States, the program connects patients to the doctors through technology-based services such as phones and the internet. At naging paraan din ito ng DOH sa kanilang Doctors sa the Barrios program upang masigurong matutugunan ang specialty care sa mga malalayong lalawigan. In bringing the cost of drugs, in bringing the cost or even the delivery of healthcare through telemedicine to the farthest corners of this archipelago because the high cost of healthcare and especially of drugs is debilitating and destroying practically the little income that a large segment of our population. Isa rin sa kanyang mga naging question noong 2012 na naging makabuluhan sa panong ito ang pagkakaroon ng virtual classrooms. Batid naman nating lahat na nitong pandemya, sa ganito tumakbo ang pag-aaral ng mga estudyante, kaugnay pa rin ang restriksyon sa face-to-face -face activities. Well, in learning came, the whole learning environment, environment completely changed in the way we read, in the way we learn, in the way we teach, in the way even we create virtual classrooms. Imagine if we really have enough electricity in this country, we have a back one. Then we don't have to organize every opening school year of lack of classrooms, lack of teachers, lack, lack of desks, lack of books, because we can spread throughout the islands of this archipelago. So, if you have a vision, 